Good evening, I'm Rachel Hartog. Two bills addressing the state's A through F school accountability system have been derailed by the Indiana General Assembly. A Senate bill throwing out the state's school accountability system and requiring the State Board of Education to develop a new one failed to move forward. Its author, Middlebury Republican Carlin Yoder, said he wanted to deal with a similar House bill instead, but the House bill then failed to pass. Yoder said there's a possibility of directing the board to develop a school accountability system that more heavily considers growth. And a list of public policy priorities released this week by the Bloomington Chamber of Commerce includes remodeling Monroe County's elections. As WTIU Stan Dostrepsky reports, even county officials acknowledge there are problems, but there's widespread disagreement about solutions. In November's election, Monroe County took three days to count ballots and was the last county to report its results to the Secretary of State's office. Chamber Public Policy Coordinator Liz Irwin says the last election was a wake-up call in terms of both efficiency and money spent. We understand that in the last election um, there were, I think, I think it was $70,000 maybe um, for the paper ballots themselves and additional resources spent um, for personnel in order to count for all those extra days. Is that the most efficient process? Well, we're not sure. We just, we, we think that needs to be looked at. The chamber hopes to avoid that fate in subsequent elections, as well as pushing for the implementation of vote centers. County Election Board member Judith smith Illy has repeatedly voted against creating vote centers, but says she backs the chamber's plan to do away with paper balloting if possible. But in an email Tuesday, County Commissioner's President Iris Kiesling continued to push for paper ballots in what she calls the only verifiable way to check someone's vote in case of a dispute. At the same time, Kiesling acknowledged the current system is flawed and needs change. She says she hopes state officials will add new voting systems to a short list of those which have been approved in time for the 2014 primaries. For WTIU News, I'm Stan Jastrzewski. And here's a look at the weather. Tonight, 70% chance of rain with lows around 32. Tomorrow, 80% chance of snow with highs in the mid-30s. Tomorrow night, 60% chance of snow with lows in the lower 30s. Thursday and Friday will be cloudy with a slight chance of snow with highs in the mid-30s. Saturday, mostly cloudy with highs in lower 30s and lows around 21. Sunday will be partly cloudy with highs around 36 and lows around 22. And Monday, a 20% chance of snow with highs in the lower 40s and lows around 28.